My name is Nikhil. I was a doctoral candidate in the COBRA lab at the Douglas Research Center. My supervisor was Dr. Mallar Chakravarti from Department of Psychiatry of McGill University. My research interests are focused on computational neuroscience, specifically developing prognostic applications for neurodegenerative diseases using MR imaging and machine learning tools. In 2018, I published an article in the PLOS Computational Biology Journal about modeling and prediction of clinical trajectories in Alzheimer's disease. The goal of this work, in theory, is quite straightforward. In a nutshell, we want to identify individuals at risk of Alzheimer's and predict their symptom progression over the next few years. As shown in this diagram, we want to know who will remain stable and who will decline within the next five to six years. Clinically, such predictions are extremely useful for decision-making regarding treatments, lifestyle changes, or even screening for drug trials. Practically, this has been a challenging problem because there is a lot of heterogeneity in the prodromal stages of Alzheimer's that prevents from making accurate predictions at the individual level. Typically, various tools are used to determine a priori risk factors and monitor individual performances over the time. The classical assessments and anatomical MR images are one of the most common methods for this purpose. So say we want to predict the symptomatic progression of all of these individuals. In a clinic, we usually begin with memory and cognitive assessments that can tell us about the current symptom severity of any given individual. In certain extreme cases, as shown by the green and the red figures, these assessments can potentially be used for future predictions as well. But typically, it is not an accurate prognostic tool for majority of individuals. So then we can get an MRI scan of the remaining individuals and quantify the brain atrophy pattern. This provides additional clues for future symptomatic decline for a few more individuals, as shown by the additional green and red figures in the diagram. However, a large number of unpredictable individuals still remain. There has been a lot of research in including more types of MR images and other biomarkers to resolve this problem. But it turns out, based on our work, that you can make highly accurate predictions if you can include data from another visit of the same individual. So by adding another time point, we basically get a sense of the rate of change in the clinical performance as well as the brain atrophy over a few months. And this information is very useful to make long-term predictions. This brings me to the main technical contribution of this paper. We propose a machine learning model that can combine information from risk factors, clinical assessments, and MR images from two visits. We validated our model on multiple data sets and symptom domains, and the results are promising with accuracy around 90%. Practically, this highlights the importance of periodic monitoring of our aging populations as the assessments over every few months can help predict symptomatic decline over the next five to six years. The work that Nikhil did I think is really interesting because what it does is it really puts emphasis on prevention and detecting those individuals that may be in decline towards Alzheimer's disease but trying to find them 10, 20 years even before the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease arrive. And what's interesting about that is that we know now that treating the symptoms may not be very effective but preventing them from occurring through lifestyle interventions such as diet, that include diet, exercise, and even socialization, may be the most effective ways of preventing the disease from occurring later on in lifespan. Hello everyone. If you like this video, you can add a comment below, click the like button, or share this video with your friends. If you wish to know more, visit our website, douglas.research.mcgill.ca.